Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I'm working on 2010 Prius with 146,000 miles on the odometer and this one had blown head gasket. I got the head back from the machine shop. What a beauty, isn't it? And I want to show you before you install these parts, before you start installing everything, if you want this job to be successful, I need to check the head and the block for a warpage. I have to make sure that both part when I install that head gasket, new head gasket, which is this part, that's the old one sitting here, so I need to make sure that everything is perfect straight. And when the bolts will be tightened, there will be no problems and the repair will be successful. To perform this inspection or this check, you need a so-called straight edge. What is straight edge? Well, it's a certain quality chunk of metal in different length. I bought this one because this is roughly size of the engine blocks and engine heads which I'm dealing with on Toyotas. So basically you buy this straight edge. I bought it either Amazon or eBay. That's totally fine. Uh, from the seller who makes these, right? OEM tools. It was their own store on the eBay or the uh, Amazon. You don't want to buy some cheap joke, right? It needs to be serious one. And basically what it is, it's a standard metal which they use for it. it has to be just certain metal and it's machined. They have the milling machine which creates right here. You see the shiny part. It's absolutely straight within some very small spec. So you have normally always this protective sleeve on it. Right? And this is what do you use. I saw videos in past being on the YouTube, being YouTuber and being watching a YouTube videos. I saw some people saying, hey, I'm checking my head if it's straight and they're, they are using like construction Stanley L bracket or something. Guys, that doesn't work. That doesn't have this specific straightness, which is within some very fine tolerance. And I will show you that this is really what you need. And let's use that head, which is just been resurfaced and it's absolutely straight. And we will use this tool. I will show you how perfectly is matching the surfaces and then we will go and check if the engine block is actually straight because both surfaces must be perfect in order that head gasket lasts for another hopefully hopefully at least 160,000 miles or what I said 146 right that's when it blown so let's go I will show you how to use this tool so I tried to put you in the correct angle that you can observe the straightness of this surface these previous head gaskets blow normally between one and two so we are concerned about this area but again, this was already perfected with the machine shop, so this will be purely theoretical. Yet, when we will go to the engine block, then we will be really watching. So this is only example. What we are doing when you are checking parts for the warpage. So this will be first time I will remove that protective plastic sheet which was protecting that super finely machine edge. 
And basically, what do you do? You go crisscross in different angles. I will show it right this way. And you are matching it with the surface of this hat. I will finally stand behind this tripod and you behind the camera. And basically, you are moving it across in different directions and angles. And you are looking for area where there could be space underneath that straight edge. And obviously, as we said, there's no reason to try to uh, shine the light underneath it or something like that. Or try to put the feeling gauges because this was just machine day ago. This is perfect and I can see and hopefully can you see it? Is the angle correct? Can you see that there's absolutely zero? I'm, I will not obviously push on it hard because I don't want to scratch those machine surfaces. I'm just carefully moving it across and I can see just by naked eye without using any gauges or anything this is absolute perfection and here I am concerned about the same spot so again here on the passenger side is missing that timing chain cover so we have number one two three four cylinders and normally it blows right here this is the area which you are afraid about this block and the head are made of aluminum so please if you ever do this don't follow some very bad advices that people will take a very fine sandpaper and try to clean it by sanding that uh, material of the block it's absolutely insane the aluminum is a very soft material I'm even worried that I might scratch it so I will be very carefully using the straight edge and this is what I use for cleaning that head that's a max max of abrasive material I am allowed to use so it's basically 3M finishing pad for a metal right this is what I bought this is how it looks you can buy it in a different you know, shapes and dif different abrasive uh, levels you will not never never use a sandpaper right it will be absolute disaster and most likely if you try that you will remove too much of that material so that will be a uh, nonsense that will be too rough and too abrasive so i already carefully cleaned or polished this entire surface sorry for the lighting this is that milwaukee it obviously doesn't do for the naked eye can i switch the mode did it get better i put a more light on so hopefully there will be not so much of that problem which creates uh, the camera itself the shutter speed so I can feel this is perfectly smooth and clean and we can go and use that straight edge and check and cross the fingers that engine block is also absolutely straight and I don't want to scratch anything so I will put you on the tripod you will be looking from somewhere here because I want to use my bow's hands I will have to, obviously the edge, straight edge is very long, so you have to avoid all the other stuff. Here are these double pins, which are guiding the head when you are putting it down. So we will have to find a way around it, and we will be mainly concerned about this area. And part of these measurements, if there was a space between the straight edge, straight edge and the block, it's these feeler gauges. The thinnest one might be permitted, but in our case, you will see there will be no way to insert any of these. Even the thinnest one, like a paper thin, it will not fit underneath that straight edge. I already know that.
I hope I will not get in your way too much. So I'm just rechecking that I have no dirt on that straight edge. And I'm finding a space where it will fit. It's a long one. Also, I want to avoid a piston which is sticking out here. Right? But this is what you do. You just look from here, from the side. And I tell you guys, this engine block is absolutely perfect. Fortunately, the owner stopped driving uh, very soon after they started having misfire on two and three. They stopped driving soon and there is no damage, no overheating or anything. Uh, as I said in the case, some of these gauges are thinner than paper, obviously, and one of the thinnest ones will be even permitted to squeeze under. But look, I'm really touching. This is the thinnest one. And look, I will try to put it under that, right? There's no way. There's no way anywhere this block, it's absolutely perfect, and it doesn't allow me to insert even the thinnest gauge which is on this entire uh, tool so this is perfect uh, great news this block is perfectly straight this tool helped me to confirm that uh, for me as a shop I obviously have to invest this. These are not cheap. This is like $60, $70 chunk of metal, right? But it doesn't matter when you do these jobs commercially. You just have to make sure that everything's fine and continue the procedure only after that. And you see this engine perfectly timed in the number one cylinder top dead center which is TDC right so we have it timed that's the way I will be putting the timing chain back and so on but you know you very well know that I had to do one more check which is not being using that straight edge I just had to check that there is no damage to the piston number two and it's connecting rod so I basically used the pulley, the main crank pulley, the harmonic balancer, and I turned the engine when the number two and three were all the way up. And I confirmed that the piston number two, especially the number two, there was also misfire on the three, but it was related with the leak of the coolant in number two. I had to make sure that the piston is coming all the way up and there was not damage by the coolant by the effect of hydro lock which will actually when the piston will come up and there will be too much coolant in the cylinder it will bend the connecting rod of the piston so I did that turning the engine that number two and three were up and I saw there absolutely identical there's no damage on the number two the owner really made a good decision and when they start having these misfires they immediately took it to the different shop they diagnosed the head gasket coolant leak and they stopped driving the vehicle excellent so that was another interesting video from my shop from my work today on this vehicle i thought you might find this interesting now you know how you check the cylinder head and the block itself for warpage using the machine straight edge as a tool. So thank you for watching. If you like that, give it a thumb up and please be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.